Hello everyone. Today we shall look into the running total calculation in Power BI. Here I'll take a table visual from the visuals. Let us bring the date column into the table visual. I'll click on add data. I'll select the date column. Here I have written a total sales measure which is sum of sales from the sales table. I'll select the measure table and I'll select the total sales. So here we have the date and to total sales with respect to like uh, from 2018 till 2021. What I'll do is I'll write a measure where I could calculate the running total. I'll select the measure table and click on new measure. Here I'll write running total equal to I'll write calculate in the expression I'll use the total sales measure in the filter condition I'll write filter and uh, we have to utilize the date table which is created by us I'll write date in the table uh, parameter in the filter expression I will write date column of date table less than equal to maximum of date table date column okay this expression what it would do is till it reaches the maximum it would keep on uh, adding the total sales so let us see whether it will work or not here i'll close the parenthesis and close the parenthesis of I'll calculate so i'll uh, hit enter let us select the table and uh, bring in the running total measure here i'll bring in the running total measure and uh, let us see the output here we could see that although we have made the running total measure we were not able to get that cumulative total what we could do is we could get back to the measure and remove the filter context here the filter context is with respect to the date table i'll i'll put all function before the date table in the filter param first parameter of filter function i'll commit once it is uh, one, once it is executed here you could see that our running total is now available but there are multiple dates where we have you know blank values where the sales is not available wherever the sales is not available it will show the respective totals here so uh, we do not require these blank values to showcase so what we could do is we could enclose the measure which we have written in an if condition. So I'll get back to the measure again. Let us take this calculate uh, function which we have written in the variable. I'll write variable total equal to this calculate. You know it will uh, be taken into a variable. Here I'll uh, hit enter. I'll create another variable. Let us suppose that we it is called as result. I'll write if condition if our total sales is equal to blank okay then I'll put a comma result give the result of blank otherwise help us with the result variable right close the parenthesis okay otherwise help us with the total not result I'll, re I'll uh, return result variable. So I have considered the calculate function which I have written in the total uh, variable and I have written if condition with the result variable and I am returning the output as result. Okay, here I'll commit. Let us see the change whether we are able to remove the blanks or not. Let us get back to the table. Here again, uh, after uh, using the if condition, here you could see that our running total is now appropriately present. Okay, here uh, it will add respective sales each and every row along with the you know function following it. Okay, and if you want to confirm it, you could uh, you know check in the descending order of the running total. You could uh, see that it will be working fine. Okay, please practice. This is all uh, with respect to now, with respect to running total. Thank you for watching and we shall meet in the next video.